Hey, what is going on guys? So here is the Frame Arms Base Lard with Bombardment Unit. So basically, as we can see here, it is going to be very dark in color, mostly in that really dark brown, and then you have some kind of accents of a really dark navy, and you have a few lighter accents in that light gray color, which are going to be popping a little bit, but overall the color scheme a little bit underwhelming. I think it does sort of, I think maybe they are going for a sort of special ops sort of looking design for the color scheme for this, having it just being like really dark in color like that. But ultimately, I think I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a paint job in some different colors. But if you've ever built the base lard or the cutlass, different versions of this, of course the main body is going to be mostly the same. It has a cool new head, and then obviously the cool new shoulder parts to hold on the freestyle bazookas. That's gonna be pretty much what's new about this, so not really a whole lot new compared to other different versions. But hopefully this review will help you guys decide if this is the particular version of the base lard you might be interested in, or if not, maybe you like the design overall, but maybe not this particular version if you want to check out one of the other different versions of the kids. Yeah, hopefully this review will help you in your deciding. So as always guys, before we get into it, just huge thanks to USA Gundam Store for their support in supporting this review. If you want to check the link to their site down in the video description below, you can click that and also use my coupon code there, Zacharelius10, to save 10% off everything on their site. They've got a bunch of frame arms stuff, so check that out if you're interested. Obviously everything else, Gundam, frame arms, girls, all that other sort of cool stuff as well. But let's get into talking about the kit here a little bit more. All right, so first up for the accessories, you have this really nice sheet of water slide decals here. You got the cool 05 logos and just a bunch of little marking logos and stuff for around on the design. Just to give you a close up look at those, you can see you got some caution, warning logos. There's this little circles, little marking bits. So the decals look really nice and not a lot of frame arms kits do usually come with water slide decals. So this is a nice inclusion. Then we've got some hand options. We've got the closed fists there, as well as a set of open hands like so, and a set of weapon holding hands. So pretty standard for a frame arms kit. And then just among our leftover pieces, you have the pieces to make just the regular base lard head if you want. And you also have the original base large shoulder armor if you prefer that. So you could do like half and half, have just like one shoulder with the bazooka on it and the other shoulder just the original uh, base large shoulder armor, something like that. It's pretty cool. So it's nice that at least you have all these parts included to be able to create the original shoulder armor for this. Except you will have to use the cap here that's used for the shoulder armor. On here, this top part, you only have two of those, so you can't make four full shoulder armor parts with this. You will have to take that off there and put it onto here. So out of the box, I'd have to say the main downside of this kit is just going to be how flimsy it is. It is going to be pretty loose, kind of floppy in certain areas, so just getting it to stand up, especially with these things attached onto his shoulders, they're going to be very heavy. Once I think they're actually held in the hand, they're maybe going to be a little bit easier to manage, but it does have some kind of weight issues and just like some looseness issues, so you'll see you might want to have to glue, put some glue on some of these joints just to stiffen them up, or painting of course. But just to quickly run through some of the articulation, the head will go up to about there, that's about it. We do have a clear blue part in there for the visor, but it's going to be kind of hard to see. Easier to see this clear blue part here on the front of the chest, but the head will go up to there, and then down to there, then of course it can rotate around to the sides, no problem with that. Here in the stomach section we have some forward and back movement here, but again this is one of the particularly loose points, so you might want to tighten that up. There's no side to side bend, but we do have some rotation here at the middle section as well. Shoulders are on a ball joint that will swing forward and back as well as up and down a little bit there at the shoulder otherwise you can move the shoulder armor by itself and bring the arm out to about 90 degrees to the body like so and then the arm will just work as usual it rotates there at the top and a double joint at the elbow is going to give you more than 90 degrees but that's about it before you can see it's actually starting to come apart there so these frame arms kits all have a double joint at the elbow, but a lot of them, just because of the armor, they don't actually utilize a full bend there. It's usually about 90 degrees or so before they start to pull out of the socket there a little bit, but just due to the design of the armor. The hand is just plugged in via a straight peg, so that's only just gonna rotate there, but then there is a joint at the base of the wrist that will allow you to move the hand up and down here like that as well. As far as the bazooka shoulder part, obviously this can just rotate around here on this track at the top. And you can also change the angle of that here. You can also rotate that like that and then here as well. And then the bazooka itself, the handle will move forward and back like that. This open part at the back will move up and down, up and down like that, open and close I wanted to say. So with all of that articulation, you could even have this part like rotate around to the back and then this just up over the shoulder, something like that. So I mean, there's a lot of articulation there with the 
positioning of the bazooka so hopefully that shouldn't be any sort of problem to actually get that into the hand and utilize that in some cool action poses and stuff down here to the hip section the legs will go out to about there and forward and back is not going to be any problem at all because you don't have any front or back skirt armor there to really to speak of we also got some rotation here at the top of the leg and then our double jointed knee is going to bend around like that like i said a little bit more than 90 degrees but it's going to be stopped a little bit by some of the armor there but you can get a pretty nice knee bend there with the separation of this part here out the front this little flap above the ankle does move up and down a little bit like that the ankle itself will move side to side and then forward to there back all the way back to there so you get a really far pointing backwards there up underneath the feet just that's what it's going to look like for the detail underneath the foot but all these cool little thruster bells around on the design are what make the base lard so cool in my opinion i love that part of the design and also just to point out some of these hard points here you can see one two three there on the side of the leg one on the side of the arm there you have a hard point on top of the freestyle bazookas around here on the back you have a hard point here which is where you could also plug an action base up underneath there you could also plug the action base there and that point up underneath the hip section so you've got plenty of hard points built in for some added uh, customization. But on the flip side to that, we do also have a good amount of seam lines on this kit, of course. So here on the top of the head, we have a seam line down the middle of that black part there. And actually, really, that's kind of about it as far as notable seam lines on this kit. So it's actually one of the Frameform kits that I think probably has some of the fewest seam lines on it, with that one on the head being pretty much all there is. Oh, I guess here on the back, I forgot these like fins here on the back have seam lines down the middle of those can see as well those parts there on the backpack there so th but I mean that's pretty minimal for a framework's kiss so not too bad at all and then just for a quick size comparison here it is stood next to your standard HG and your standard master grade 100 scale and 144 scale Gundam kits so you can see as usual it's falling somewhere kind of in between it's kind of about the size of a small master grade something like a master grade wing kit or f90 kit somewhere around the same height and kind of general size as one of those particularly the only thing that's really particularly not good about the action base connection for this is that because it's a kind of top heavy kit with those big bazookas attached onto there and it's just on a circular peg so if you have the bazookas if you have too much weight off to one side or the other it's going to just kind of rotate around on the stand if you know what I mean the gravity is going to weigh it down to one side so it's kind of hard to stay straight on the stand so again just another thing that you could easily do to fix is just tighten the stand by just adding a coat of glue or paint or something onto the peg just to make it so it's really tight on there but you know, otherwise there's other things that you could do, but it's just one of those things you just have to be careful of when you're putting this up on a stand. It is going to be weighed down to one side or the other kind of easily. But overall, I think the kit is really super cool. That's always the most important thing to me. It looks really cool. I love the, just the shape and the design of everything. And it's a really cool, like a custom variant of the base lard as well. I think the freestyle bazookas, the freestyle bazookas are a weapon that I really particularly like. As you guys know, I used that for my uh, Tristan custom build and it is available of course just on its own as just a separate weapon you can buy by itself so this particular variant just comes with two of them and just the custom parts to attach them onto the shoulders so I think it's a cool weapon to be added to this so it's kind of like taking a cool mecha plus a cool weapon you know can't go wrong with that like I said at the start of the review though, the color scheme out of the box is not really particularly to my taste, so I'm definitely going to be changing that. But it's really cool, pretty minimal in terms of the seam lines that you need fixing for it, just a little bit of fixing in terms of just tightening up some of the joints, and that's really going to be all you're going to have to do to get this prepped for painting, give it a nice paint job, and you got the water slide decals included in the box as well, so that's nice. Of course, this is a Kotobukiya web shop exclusive, so it is going to be kind of limited in terms of its availability, this particular version of that. But again, this review should, I hope, give you guys an idea of just the base lard frame arms kit in general, just kind of sort of the overall look of that and sort of what it can do. Obviously, the original kits, uh, the base lard or the cutlass or the variants are not going to come with these with this particular weapons loadout, but you can kind of get an idea of just the base kit anyway, what that's like. And if you want to check out a different version of that or something like that, hopefully this review has been helpful for you guys. So if you do have any other further questions or comments, of course, about this, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Again, thank you to us at Gundam Store for their support. And it's Frame Arms Month, guys, so do check out some different Frame Arms stuff and just share your frame arm stuff online if you're building anything currently or you want to pick up something use that hashtag frame arms month and uh, so everyone can follow that and just see what everyone's working on some cool frame arm stuff so we can kind of just kind of share the love of frame arms out there just to kind of give it a little bit more appreciation to some other mecha plamo kits other than gundam for a change so thank you guys all so much for watching and i've got more frame arm stuff on the way for you guys so stay tuned i'll see you guys soon bye bye